yeah, most games are junk. Most things in the world are junk. You know, it's really just the, the it, it's hard to tell, uh, it, it's hard to find, it's hard to make good games that, that are truly, that, that truly live up to the potential because it's hard to make good anything that lives up to the potential of things. And, and most bad games aren't that bad. You know, just like most bad television, it's okay. So you indulge yourself in a little bad television. Is there anything better when you come home and you're just exhausted and you're, and you're just like the weight of the world is on you and you're so anxious and you just flip on like some junk TV and for a minute you just let yourself go and it's so pleasurable. And it's partly pleasurable because it's bad. I mean, you know it's bad for you and it's not uplifting. And, and that's, a, that's just part of, of aesthetics is one of the things that, that we have to have in our lives alongside the, the, the James Joyce and, and, the, and, and Civilization IV um, and, and, you know, competitive high-level Team Fortress II where you're, you're, you're practicing all day and you're struggling to, to develop and hone your skills and you're working with your teammates to develop this intuitive sense of, of empathy and almost ESP. I mean, that's amazing. There's nothing else in the world that's like the, the kind of experience you can have in a, in a deep and compelling game. Um, and that whole spectrum is, is out there and you, yeah, you just have to figure out for yourself how, to, how, how you want to fit that into your life.